Nosotros las regresaremos. Kimari and Akawo had not been women, they would have been killed. So Dayuma believed that women going to her family might be shown the same mercy. Ma 
Na wana mumu na biadia. Nikayani, angi langwe na na watu anandu. Na! Muunusia! Wana hinga na dede? Muhuwa batasia! Wana dada yume, da yume basiburu. Kare biasi moipa. Kaga babi yasi! Bu emberara miasuba! Bu seza kento! Yaba wera nemo! Moipa! Moipa oma eno menani! Moipa bea bua! Daiba bea dia! Buda kira kira kah eno menani! Muara bea kabu. Mura basi buru. Mura dah yume ya. Kanea kini mi dao bezit. Daiba kinezit. Mena anjia duav. Bedea de se si dao a Dani Rama o Arakarea o e Gongina. A jira bia mi a beate. Oasa da a vasi da a. E jube a besita. A jira bia pene ni karea. Baritu a eo arite.
stories about when I first came to visit Aunt Rachel in the Wadana. <laughs> Let's just say there are some things you never forget. <laughs> According to Wadani tradition, as my father's oldest son, I would be responsible for avenging his death. So Aunt Rachel warned me never to appear too interested in the particulars. She herself had no idea who the actual killers were. But of course, I couldn't help but wonder. That was when I first saw Minkayani. I remember feeling like I irritated him.
Ιδιαίτερα ουέα ενωμενάνι. Διαπούα γουαϊκόγκι. Πούρα καϊδού. Μαντρέ Αντζία. with their family for hours. In the end, it was the Anamanani sickness that helped her to die. In the darkness, just before dawn, they became too weak to attack. Shell, this is Tiwano. We have an emergency. Over. Tiwano, Tiwano, this is Shell. What's wrong, Rachel? Over. Kimo and Dawa have returned with the Enomanani. All of them. They have polio. They're dying. Over. Roger. You'll have to quarantine the village, Rachel. You read? We read you, Frank. Tell everyone to pray. Shh. <laughs> 
Eta aquí, mora. Me han pegado aripía para estas aguas, ¿sí? No, me hago. Muy gracias. Que muy guay. Es de Kiraca. Es de mi hago. Aquí en Panua. Mi cayani, Ichia. Are you the boy there? Are you the boy there? She's shouting. Ichia, mi cayani. He's saying no fool. Children will die. Mi cayani. Mi cayani. Are you the boy there? The quarantine meant we couldn't leave the village. No one could walk in with supplies. I felt trapped in a place that wasn't my home. Little did I know that Minkayani felt trapped as well. And this place was his home. Minkayani, what are they you break a boa?
After eight weeks, the quarantine was lifted. My mother and sister and I could finally go home. The teeter-totters had stopped, and with them, the endless cycle of revenge. The Wadani had found a reason to live differently. And in the end, that seemed to be what so many of them were waiting for. Just miss the manioc. I'd like to say goodbye to Minkayan. It's important to do what's in your heart, Stevie. Kayani, I started a new life that would take me to the United States. Aunt Rachel and I kept in touch, and occasionally I'd visit in the summers. She spent the rest of her life with the Wadani. I was living with my family in Florida when I got the news that Aunt Rachel had died. It didn't come as a surprise. We had known about her cancer. And though she came from a large family in the States, she wanted to be buried with the Wadani, who she considered to be family as well. So my wife Jenny and I traveled to Ecuador to honor her request. <laughs> 